Hi Stampers, this is Holly from Rubber Redneck. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to a Rubber Redneck Fall Frenzy video tutorial. I'm so excited about my upcoming event. This week over on my blog I will be posting videos and projects to celebrate fall and promote my upcoming 9 days of fall online class. There will be prize giveaways and each project will have a free downloadable project sheet for you. I'll also be offering a special bonus to anyone who purchases $50 before tax and shipping from my Stampin' Up! online store from October 19th through October 26th. You will receive the paper kit to recreate all four projects from my Fall Frenzy event that I will be demonstrating this week. Please note the paper kits will not include any stamped images. Also, if you select no contact when you're checking out, I will not be able to email you or send you the paper kit. For all the details about my upcoming event this week, visit my blog, rubberredneck.tightpad.com. My first project for this Fall Frenzy event is a fun little place card that you can make for fall or for Thanksgiving for all your fun events. Here's the front view, and then when you open it up, here's the inside view of that place card. Now, I did something a little fun and different with this. I stamped grateful for you, and then I thought you could either write little things that you're grateful about for each person to create like a keepsake. And then on the front of this, you would either just write their name right there on that very vanilla cardstock. Just a fun idea for you. And another thing you could do too if you wanted to take it another step farther, put a picture inside here of just you and that person as well. It would make a great little keepsake. Now to create this, I used a corny thank you stamp set and then I paired it with the Project Life Seasonal Snapshot 2015 set. And then I'm also going to be using the Eggcorn Builder Punch and you can actually purchase the Ed Corny thank you stamp set and the punch together in a bundle to save 15%. And this stamp set is in our holiday catalog and it is on page 45 here and it's got some projects showing you how to use this. This is a really cute and fun little set. Now to create this you want to cut one piece of Sahara sand cardstock at four inches by four and a quarter. Then you're going to place this onto your simply scored scoring tool with the four inch length at the top and then you want to score that at two inches. Once you have that score, take the bone folder, fold this over on that score line and crease that down. Then you want to take the stamp from the Project Life Seasonal Snapshot shots and ink that in Blackberry Bliss and stamp up here at the top. Then take the other stamp and ink that in Tangerine Tango and stamp right below. And then in the bottom right corner, you want to stamp the old olive little leaf there. Then you're ready to decorate the front of this. You want to cut one piece of very vanilla cardstock at one and three quarters by four inches. Then you're going to glue this to your Sahara sand cardstock. And you're just going to place that right in the center. You want to cut one piece of the Farmer's Market Designer Series paper in that old olive pattern. Cut that at a half an inch by four inches. Then you're going to glue this across the bottom of your very vanilla cardstock. You just want to line up your edges here. And then you want to take the stamp from Egg Corny Thank You, ink it in soft suede, and then stamp the little top for the egg corn and cherry cobbler. Then you're going to stamp both those images onto some very vanilla cardstock and then you're going to take your builder, your egg corn builder punch, turn it over and then punch out your image. And you'll punch out your first image here and then you'll punch out this little egg corn off to the side. So it's two pieces. It's really cute and really fun. Then you want to cut one piece of very vanilla cardstock at one inch by two and a quarter. You're going to take that stamp from Egg Corny Thank You again, ink it in Tangerine Tango, and stamp onto a piece of very vanilla cardstock. Then you're going to zip that through the big shot with the bitty banner and framelits to die cut it out. Now you're going to have two pieces that look like this. 
And what you want to do is take a stamping dimensional, place that onto the back of your egg corn, and then you want to place this over here on the left side of your little place card going at an angle. Once you have that placed on there, then you want to take that little banner and your glue, and we're just going to glue this to the egg corn. And you want to put just a little glue here in the center, and then place that going across the egg corn. And then that completes the little place card. Very fun and easy to create on your own. Be sure to visit my blog, rubberredneck.typepad.com, to get the free project sheet, find out about the prize giveaways, and my upcoming nine days of fall online class, and also where to purchase all of these supplies to recreate your own. Thank you for watching.